Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, March 20th. This is for all signs. Daily energy, what do you have? What's, what's going on today? What is going on today? So many of you are working really hard on making a change. I see that there's some sort of completion here, letting go, you know, investment. I'm investing in my future. You know, I'm, I'm dropping this baggage, moving on. A lot of hard work. Today is a day about work. Work on completing and letting go. I mean, here we have work on both ends. Somebody is working, okay? They're working hard at letting a cycle end, okay? Because tens are, are completions of cycles, okay? letting something go for sure it's like it's the end of a difficult period um the storm is over and i think that we are working hard at moving on so i think today is a day of you know letting something in there is definitely some sort of completion here that brings a lot of happiness um yeah it's the end of an idea the end of the old the beginning of the new i mean this the four of swords i always consider you know um the death of an idea, okay? It's the end, and it is. With the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, it's like I don't need to carry around these burdens. I don't need to carry around this baggage. And in order for me to be happy, I have to invest my energy elsewhere. So I think that you guys are working really hard on focusing your energy in a different direction. Um, it feels as though this betrayal, whatever it is that you've been through, has really taught you something. Um, look at the completions. Oh my God. Whatever is happening here, it's because, you know, we have these three tens, ten, ten, tens, a major completions are going on. Now we have the 10 of pentacles. It's like, this is, uh, whatever you are letting go of is allowing you to feel more stable and secure. And it's probably bringing you abundance. Okay. And a lot of happiness too. So I think you're investing in your future, your future happiness, your future foundation, you know, your future, period. Wow. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles. Here we have a new beginning, okay? So you guys are be are are getting something solid. You're you're you are receiving a new opportunity for abundance here. And it's because you've worked so hard on completing a cycle or a phase of your life that didn't serve you. Okay, that's what this is. I see a lot of emotional um, happiness here. Okay, and this I think there's something really solid, and I'm not sure what it is. Let's see what this last card is. This is, um, yeah, you guys are building a new foundation. You're starting a new solid foundation after a time of betrayal. This is what's happened here. Um, it's like, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stay stuck in this predicament that I was in. I've learned from it. I'm going to use my resources to move on and be happy. So I think today is a day of happiness. Yes, transformation. It's very exciting, huh? There's an exciting new path opening up in front of you that's what I see and I think this is this isn't going to resonate for everybody because some of you haven't done this completion yet you haven't completed the inner work you haven't worked on the healing enough to get to this level I mean some most people watching this have or this reading wouldn't have come out but there will be some of you that need to hear this reading to move on so it feels like there is an exciting new opportunity that has opened up because you have went through a transformation Okay, and this is the death card. And like I, with these three completions, there's a huge completion here. Okay, so now we have four completions. Okay, we have three tens and the transformation card. The completion, 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 completion. One cycle is over for many of you. You have done the work. You have. 
You have done the work and now you are receiving some sort of, sort of reward with this Ace of Pentacles. You are receiving a work for a job, uh, a work, a reward for a job well done, okay? And now you have a new exciting opportunity open opening up in front of you that is going to bring something very solid and stable to your life, okay? That's what it looks like to me. I think this is a day of really completing a cycle. It's like releasing the old. I mean, with endings bring, bring new beginnings, right? Now, I've said that many times throughout my readings, but this is a huge new beginning, okay? Because after all these completions, we have this this ace of pentacles right here with this transformation you guys are receiving your reward after a period of betrayal and hardship i mean we have the seven of swords the ten of swords somebody has like hit rock bottom but they worked through it did their work and because you've done the work now you're receiving this gift from above because the aces are gifts from above as you've manifested this change even if it was hard Okay, so I really feel like like this is really really wonderful. Okay, somebody is is building a new foundation from the ground up, and it's going to be very solid. All right, there's a lot of solid energy here. Now you could be connecting with somebody from your childhood that you grew up with, went to school with. And it's pretty exciting, huh? It is for me. Judgment. Okay? It feels like this is a wake-up call. And this is also releasing the past. This is what's happened here. Many of you are stepping into a new, bright, abundant, stable, secure future. Because you have released the past. You've woken up. I think there is a reunion or a reconnection or a new connection with somebody from your past. And I don't think this is a past lover. I think this is somebody from your past that you knew when you were very, you know, when you were young. Devil. Woo! Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Scorpio. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is under here. We have Taurus and Pisces. So, I mean, we have, you can, whatever. A every sign that this is applicable to. But I feel like there is a strong connection with you and another person from your past in that and I think this is at somebody you've been with before. I really don't. I think this is somebody that you were acquainted with. Okay? And, you know, here we have the call. This is a call. This is the call. It's time. It's time. Okay? This is the, the call to action. This is following your inner guide. This is about following your intuition. I feel like there's been, this has been a long time coming and that it's part of the written script with the, with the high priestess and the devil card this is something that is meant to be whatever this is if you have somebody in mind that comes to mind when i am talking to you i don't believe this is somebody that you have been with before like i said i think this is somebody you knew as a child and now there it's, it's time now it's time for this new karmic connection to play out because these are both karma cards they are the judgment and the devil card. I feel like there's a new there's a new chapter that is starting. One karmic debt has been paid off, okay, with all these completions, and now it's time for you to step into this this new life with perhaps another soulmate, karmic partner, whatever, you know, whatever this is. I think that there is a connection with someone from your past that is meant to be. Mm-hmm. And there is definitely some some kind of inner knowing here, 
okay, with both these cards, there's an inner knowing, and you should know, okay, what I'm saying is you should know when you meet this person or when you talk with this person that there's a, there's a, a strong connection that you can't deny. So whoever this person is, you will know. You will know and feel the connection instantly that this is some sort of real, solid connection. I think this is about, uh, I'm surprised you didn't have the Ace of Cups because I feel like this is a new a new connection, um, could be a love connection that is just starting. And it's solid. It leads to solid, permanent love, whatever this is. Because you've, you've suffered enough, right? You've suffered long enough with that Seven of Swords, the Ten of Swords. There's been a lot of suffering here. But because you've done the work, you've done the work, now you're receiving the reward, which is the Ace of Pentacles. And I think this reward is perhaps a new connection with somebody you have known before. You know, maybe when you were younger, could be a past life. But this is someone you've known before. I don't think it's someone you've been in a relationship with before. I don't. I don't see that at all. I think there's going to be a lot of sexual attraction here. Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. Look beyond the words. Look beyond the looks. Look beyond the surface. This person is not your usual type as well this new person. Whoever this is that's man that you have manifested with this Ace of Pentacles, I believe that this is a solid, firm, permanent, even it's like a life partner connection. And it's because you have done the work to release the old and complete a cycle in your life. So this is what I think it is. I really do. Um, that's what I have for today. I think there is a new beginning. I mean, we have the death card. There's a new beginning here. Somebody is starting a whole new chapter and they're not bringing the past with them. Talk to you later.